Hello everyone and welcome back to Infinity CAD. Today we will design a standard M16 planes bolt in SolidWorks. So let's get started. So first of all we have open here a new part and then we will select here front plane and then sketch. And let's draw one polygon and this time we will draw one hexagon so that the number of sides here will be 6 and inscribed in a circle. Select this origin point. Right click select then select here smart dimension select this side and this side give this distance to be 22 mm enter right click and then select now select this end point and this origin point make them vertical and our sketch will be fully defined and you can see it's in a black color okay now we'll go to features and select here extruded bosses. Change this direction. Reverse. End condition will be blind and give your distance to be 16 mm. And then OK. Now just select this backside face and select sketch. Here we will draw one circle. So select your circle. Right click, select, then smart dimension. Sixteen mm. Right click, select. Now select features and extruded boss space. Distance here will be sixty five mm blind and then ok now select here chamfer and select this edge you have to keep here this angle distance and give here distance to be 2 mm and 45 degree angle ok now we'll assign threads to this rod so you have to select from insert go to features and select here draft option okay select it then select okay here we have to select the edge so i will select this edge in the type you have to select here metric die size will be m16 into 1.5 here thread method should be cut thread and in the end condition we have to give here distance to be 50 mm enter now select here option to be offset change its direction give your distance to be 10 mm then you have to check here maintain thread length check mark on it this means it will maintain a thread length from this edge to here 50 mm okay and outside from this edge it will be 10 mm offset then just select ok and you can see our threads are now applied you can see this okay now just select here fillet just give this edge fillet 0.5 mm ok now we will select right plane sketch and on this right plane select convert entities select this edge and this edge ok now from here select three point arc select this point and to this line draw one three point arc like this right click and then select ok now select smart dimension give this radius will be 2.5 mm enter right click and then select now select this arc and this edge tangent same as it is this arc and this edge make here tangent ok now select trim entities 
with power trim trim this edge and this edge we have to keep only this part next let's exit this sketch go to features and select here revolved cut select this sketch and here axis of revolution we have to give so from here you can see i button show you select here view temporary axis and you will see this axis so axis of revolution will be this axis and you can see like this it will cut okay now hide this axis this one also okay now just select this face sketch select circle smart dimension diameter will be 14 mm right click and then select features and select here extruded cut end condition will be blind 2 mm distance ok now select fillet and select this edge give distance to be 1.5 mm and then select ok okay now we have to create a flange so that will select here top plane and then sketch select here one line and draw one line from this point to here right click and then select press l for again the line command select this point and draw one vertical line like this right click select okay we have created these two lines now select here tangent arc okay then select this point and this point join them right click and then select now select here fillet then give here distance 1 mm and just select this point and you will see the fillet is applied ok close it select smart dimension and give this distance 16 mm and this distance 5.20 mm right click and then select now go to features and select here revolved boss face axis of revolution will be this line and you can see in the preview keep here 360 degree merge results ok so now our hexagonal m16 flange bolt is ready I hope you like this tutorial. Please make sure to like, share and subscribe us. Thanks for watching.